Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a new video. And today, we're going to objectify women. Woohoo! Maybe we'll get some social justice warriors upset. Who knows? But uh, we're going to go back to the 80s, and we're going to rank the hottest women of the 80s. And I reached out on Facebook, Twitter, and social media and asked you guys to tell me some of the women you thought were the hottest when you were a kid growing up in the 80s. And I got them here. So if you're like, why did Junk Man put her on the list? It's because you guys wanted her on the list. And some of them I did pick myself. Hopefully I can remember all these names. Because I didn't write down all the names. But I think I know most of them. And we got the category. Goddess. Only one gets the goddess category. Only one. A smoking hot. Smoking hot right there. Hot is in the medium. Cute. You know, the girl next door. look, The cute look. And then fugly. <sighs> the one you're like. Whoa. So we got 30 of them we got to get through. So hopefully we can do this. Uh. Well, quick, quick, and let's just go in order of on the list down here. The first one's Elizabeth Shue, who you may remember from Adventures in Babysitting Land. Whew. That was a, wasn't a good movie. She was also, wasn't she in Back to the Future and Karate Kid? A lot of stuff. I, I just started recently watching The Boys. I'm only on season two, so no spoilers. Uh, she's pretty good looking still today, and it was nice to see her on the show. So, uh, I wouldn't put her in a goddess category, but... But right now, we're going to put her hot. We might move these around near the end of the video to see. I'm going to put her in the hot category right now. I think this one's called Belinda Carlisle. I think she was with the Go-Go's. Remember that group, the Go-Go's? I, I think they sung, uh, what did they sing? I don't know. They sung some kind of beach-like song. I can't remember the name of it. I would put her in the cute category. Again, just cute. Uh, wasn't, a, wasn't my type of music, so maybe that's why. Uh, Phoebe Cates, who we all know from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I mean, come on. What boy growing up or some girls growing up in the 80s didn't love Phoebe Cates? The Gremlins movies, right? She was in Gremlins. But we all think of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, that red bikini. You know what I'm talking about. We wore that videotape out. Now, she's very cute, but I think she's a little bit more than cute. I think she deserves more than cute. She has that cute girl look, but I think she's... Right now, we're going to put her in the hot section. I don't think she's smoking hot, but I don't know. I might might change it. I'm going to put this list at the end. The next one is Kirstie Alley. We're going to go ahead and put her in the fluggy category, okay? Uh, I, I, a lot of you guys said Kirstie Alley. And I was like, why is she even on the Why? 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 I'd rather have Shelly Long on the list, so let's get that out of the way. Now, here's a blonde. Now, I don't know who this is, but uh, search the name. It's another teen pop singer from the 80s. I think she sung that song about uh, Venus, maybe. I'm your Venus. I'm your... Remember that? Uh, I don't know. She's. I guess she's okay. I'll put her in the cute category. Uh, sorry, I don't remember her name. Uh, Ali Sheedy. Oh! Now, if I was doing my crushes, Ali Sheedy, man, especially war games. I know a lot of people think Breakfast Club when they hear Ali Sheedy. To me, she was my dream girl when I watched uh, war games. You know, I thought I was going to be a hacker. I was like, I want to be a hacker just like him. I had a little TRS-80 computer, couldn't do shit on it, but I could program it and make it look like I was cracking into a bank. He showed my friends and they thought I really was. Didn't even have a modem. But, man, I loved Ali Sheedy. Now, uh, is she smoking hot or is she... Hmm, I'm going to put her in. She's cool. She's got a cool factor going for her. She looks like she'd be cool to hang. I'm going to put her in the smoking. I'm going to put her in the smoking. She might could get into the goddess. Now, here's Earl Grey. I think that's her name. Oh, no, well, that's what John Luke Picard drank, didn't it? Aaron Grey. Now, I think 70s when I think her Buck Rogers, but she was in the 80s when she was part of Silver Spoons. Uh... If I was judging by what when I think of her, Buck Rogers, well, I guess that's kind of early 80s, too. She is pretty good looking. She's a little older than some of these others on the list. You know, she was like the hot mom. If your friend had a mom that looked like her, you'd be, what? Why didn't you keep breastfeeding until you were 16 years old? So she's pretty, I'm going to put her in the hot right now. Again, I'm going to go through these later and see. Uh, Samantha Fox. Hot, but kind of sleazy but kind of sleazy hot you know what i'm saying she's not the one you're gonna bring home to mother she's not the girl next door at all she's not the girl you're gonna take on the prom date she's gonna be the one you leave your prom date to go have fun with because your prom date wanted to go i don't know get ice cream at taste freeze uh i think we're not going to put her in the hot section also 
This next one, Daryl Hannah. Now, I forgot. I was like, Daryl Hannah. I know a lot of people was on board with Daryl Hannah. And I was thinking of her from Blade Runner when she had an ugly wig or ugly hair. And I never really got into her until I saw Roxanne. And I was like, whoa, I see what people like about Daryl Hannah. And then I saw her in some clan of the cave bear or something. He used to come on HBO late at night. And I was like, whoa. Oh, so she was she was pretty hot there. Um, mm, I wouldn't put her in smoke. I'm just gonna put her in. I'm just gonna put her in cute right now. Debra Debra Harry again. I think more seventies, but a lot of you said her name. Uh, she's a little bit better than that Belinda Carlisle when it comes to rocking. I just don't really care for the. I don't care for the look. I'll put her in the. Ugh. I need a category between cute and fugly because. I'm gonna put her in ugly for now. Don't don't yell at me. I might change that later. Heather Locklear, the two Heathers of the '80s. Now I, I always thought that I go for Heather Thomas before Heather Locklear. I mean the Fall Guy, but I did watch T.J. Hooker. And looking at the pictures, when I pull these pictures, it's like I have to go with Heather Locklear. I think she might be a little bit better looking than Heather Thomas right now. So does she belong in the smoking or the hot? I'm going to put her in the smoking. I am. I'm going to put her in the smoking. Uh, here's the girl from Weird Science. Catherine Brock. Is that her name? Catherine Brock. Slamming body, let's be honest. Really good looking. You know, out of everybody. Any guy like me. Well, I was a kid. Just out of our league, for sure. Kind of that supermodel status right there. But I think you're going to have, just just for the body alone, you're going to have to put her in the hot category. Debbie Gibson. Talk about the girl next door. There were two camps. It was Debbie Gibson camp, Tiffany camp. No, you didn't like them both. Either you was in love with Tiffany or you're in love with Debbie, Debbie Gibson. I was a Debbie Gibson fan. If I, mean, I didn't really listen to the music, but I didn't. Tiffany just, she had that long, that uh, New Jersey look. I just, you know, she looked like, I don't know if I should say, she looked like she'd give you a hand job under a bridge somewhere. Now, nothing against that. Got nothing against that at all. But again, Debbie Gibson was more girl next door. And I'm going to put her in the hot category. Got a lot of hot category. Going to go through that category again. Paula Abdul. More late 80s, I think. At first, I was like, man, that's 90s. But I think maybe she falls between late 80s and early 90s. She was a looker. She was a looker. I mean, straight up, dude. I remember when she danced with that cat. She was dancing with that cat and everything. She was she was very exotic looking. Maybe that's the word. Different looking. I don't know. I don't know what I put there. But I'm just going to put her in the cute category uh jamie lee curtis there was a couple of you guys kept saying put jamie lee curtis on this and i was like <sighs> put her right there in the fugby category i don't know what's so hot about even when i watch true lies people are like do you see her dance scene in true lies yes i did i tried to i tried to uh run past that or skip it whenever i, I love the movie true lies but you know that's just now let's get back to music. Tiffany, like I said, yeah, Debbie Gibson, yeah, Tiffany. Um, she does look like she's more wild, more fun. If you're gonna have fun tonight, I'm gonna put her in the cute category. Uh, Jennifer Conley, who, you know, I, I, I know she was around in the '80s. I never really came on my radar till like the '90s or something. Then early 2000s, like Jennifer Conley, man. Um, she did play Princess Leia, kinda, in a photo ad for. A sewing company, so that's weird. But she was very cute. What was that? What was that movie she was in with Tom Cruise, Legacy, Legend, or something? Uh, I'm gonna put her in the high category, and she still got it going on today. Now, who is this next one right here? I can't see who this one is. I cannot. Let me pull this up real quick because I can't see who this one is. Sorry about that. That one cut off the face when I uploaded it. So let me just see who this is really quick. It's being slow, running right now. Uh, oh, well, the girl, I don't know her name, the girl from the Bangles, the lead singer from the Bangles, so I forgot her name, I uh, saw her name come up a lot, I always thought she was pretty, pretty nice looking, I'm gonna put her in the cute section, though, I think, put her over there in the cute section, uh, another one here that I can't really see who that one is, we'll come back to that one, Molly Ringwall, I, I, I didn't, is that the ugliest name you ever heard in your life, Molly Ringwall? Oh, remind me of a wing worm. Never liked Molly Wingwall. She, I guess, you know, 16, she was okay at 16 Candles. I thought she, oh, didn't like her in uh, Breakfast Club. I don't know, something. I don't know if I'll put her in the fugly category, but she, I'll put her in the cute, I guess. 
Uh, let me find out who this one is that I'm missing here real quick. I know I should have all these names written down or something there. Oh, how could I forget that? Justine Bateman. I was had a huge celebrity crush on Justine Bateman. Man, let me tell you my heart pounding Justine Bateman. That's definitely going in the just for the memories alone that's going in the smoking hot section. Jennifer Gray from Dirty Dancing and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's mostly what I think about. I thought she was very cute back then, man. I know people say, oh, she got a big nose. I don't care. You know what they say? Bigger the nose, longer the fingers. So, uh, I'm going to put her in the... Mm, I don't know if I, I'll put her in... Mm, I'm actually going to put her in the hot section. I can't believe it. I'm shocked myself. Catherine Brock. Daisy Duke. Who's that girl with the Daisy Duke song? It's Catherine Brock right there. Still my horror right, way right there. Uh... As a kid, as an early kid, when I just started noticing women, she's one of the first ones I noticed, so I'm going to have to put her in the hot section for sure. She's beyond cute. Heather Thomas, who I said was probably, I've, you know, I would have thought I would have picked Heather Locklear less than Heather Thomas, but Heather Thomas is pretty up there too, and she did get to hang out with the fall guy, so that's always good. Um, I'm going to put her, being that I got Heather, the other Heather and sm Smoke, I'm going to put her in hot. Uh, you know, I'm going to move her to smoking, too. They're both smoking. Sean Young, another one I couldn't believe people put on the list. Uh, she's, I mean, she's okay. She's not ugly. She's not in the fugly category. Let's just put her in the cute category, I guess. I should have put another category between cute and fugly. Uh, Jennifer Bills. Jennifer Bills, some uh, Flash Dance and The Mandalorian. Still looks pretty darn good today. I never watched Flash Dance, so she was never really on my radar back then. Um, but she's pretty hot looking, so I'll put her in the hot section. Alyssa Milano. Whew. Now, this picture here, she's a teen, so I feel kind of weird breaking her, you know? But growing up, she was my age. Well, she was, when I, they were like, who's the boss? I was like, Alyssa Milano's the boss of that show. She's the boss of the world. She was my first real celebrity. Well, I had posters of her on my wall. You know, before that, with Daisy Duke and maybe some others, you know, I kind of kept it on the download. Didn't want people to know I like girls. But her, I was like, screw it. Put a poster on my wall of her. I used to buy those Teen Bop magazines, you know, Teen, teen Beat and stuff magazines just to get the posters of her out. It was very embarrassing as a guy buying those magazines. <sighs> she might, just from my memory alone growing up, she might get goddess status. But let's put her in smoking right now. Uh, who, Winona Ryder. People, man, they was... Oh, man, Winona Ryder. Mm. You know, you had your... Rat Pack Group, your Ali Sheedy's, your Ali uh, um, Molly Ringwall, but I don't. The cool kid, if you were a cool guy, one of the the cool kids liked Winona Ryder. You had your more successful, well-known people, but man, Winona Ryder, whew, she was just she was, it was she seemed cool, and you, anyone that was into her so seemed cool too. So she automatically gets the. Uh, let's put her in the hot section. Carrie Fisher, probably a lot of you guys first crush, mine too. Hey, Turn of the Jedi, Slave Leia. I wish I didn't have that term in the 90s. Princess Leia in the gold bikini. Come on, Hasbro. Don't stop making that. Uh, we need it. The boys of the day need it. The boys of yesterday need it. Even the girls need it. Uh, Carrie Fisher, I mean, just just for being Carrie Fisher, she's gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm going to just put her in the cute category. I'm just going to put her in the cute category. And Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart. Man, I forget her last name. She was in uh, The Last Starfighter, Night of the Comet. Uh, a lot of stuff in the 80s. M Catherine Mary Stewart. Is that her name, Mary Catherine Stewart? I loved her. It's one of those I never really, you know, I didn't see her in magazines. She would just pop up on TV every now and then. And I was like, oh. I love her. She is she is great. She was kind of like the poor man's Linda Hamilton. You know, after watching Terminator, which could have made this list. I'm surprised her name didn't come up. Um, I'm going to put her in the... As much as I loved her in the 80s, I have to put her in the hot section. So, we've got smoking hot, cute, and fugly. We ain't got nobody in the goddess section yet. So, let's see who we can... Let's put the smoking hot in, in order. Who out of the smoking hot is probably the hottest of them all. Um, let's put a little, listen, Milan, I was just so in love with her, I have to put her there. Allie Sheedy, I was, was like the girl next door. Justine Bateman, I was really into, so we're going to put her third. 
Uh, let's see, Heather Thomas. Mm. Here, we're going to put Heather Locklear. Then Heather Heather Thomas. I'm surprised myself on that one. And then Catherine Brock at the end, smoking body. She was, like I said, more out of reach, more model size. Didn't really fit into the actress category, but still, I don't know if there's a reason not to judge her. Okay, hot category. You got to live this shoe. I'll leave her right there. You got Phoebe Kate. You know, I'm going to move Phoebe Cates up to the hot section and put her right after Justine Bateman because it is Phoebe Cates. So then we got our Earl Grey uh, from Buck Rogers and Silver Spoons and stuff. More of the mom type out of everyone else on this list anyway. For right now, we'll leave her right there. Um, Samantha Fox, she's just a little so trashy. I'm going to move her down to the cute category. Debbie Gibson, again, I loved her little hat. So I, right there, she gets to stay in the hot category. Jennifer Conley hot. I mean, we'll have to leave her. Right. But we will put her before David Gibson and before that. Uh, and before uh, Silver Spoon's mom. Jennifer Grey. Mm, cute. Um, I might move Jennifer Grey down to cute section. We've got Catherine Brock, Brock just because. I'm going to move her to the end of that list for right now. We've got uh, Flash Dance. Uh, let's put her right before Catherine Block. Um, Winona Ryder, again, because she's just so cool. We're going to put her after Jennifer, Gr I mean, after, uh, Jennifer Conley. Then we got the last Starfighter herself. We're going to move her over there. Um, okay, I think I'm happy with that. Now into the cute category, we got Belinda Carlisle. We got this blonde lady. I don't even know. We're going to move this blonde lady all the way to the end because I don't even know who that is. Uh, we'll move Daryl Hannah first to the top cutest. Hmm, didn't see who is the Bengals girl. We'll move her second. Uh, Carrie Fisher will put third. Mm, Jennifer Gray, I think we'll put her after that. And then let's see here, we'll put Samantha, let's see, Molly Ringwald, we'll put Molly Ringwald out of the end. Uh, Paula Abdul, we'll put right after Jennifer Gray. Tiffany could fall in there. Then maybe Sean Young, we'll put Sean Young right there. There we go. So we got. The cute category out of the way. And then we got the fugly. Look, mm. Debbie Harry, she could fall in that cute category. I really shouldn't have gave her maybe fugly. But like I said, I needed something in between. She would have fell into that. I should have had just an okay section. So we'll leave her at the top of the cute, uh, the ugly list. Um, Kirstie Alley. Jamie Lee Curtis. <sighs> Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Hmm. <sighs> tell you what. I tell you, I'm going to bring. Being that I don't know who this uh, this girl is, I'm going to bring. I'm going to swap them around. How about that? Just because this one blonde-haired girl, name was on the list a couple of times, so I put her on here. I think, again, again, I think she was from Baranarama. Baranarama or something. Uh, but I don't know her. I can't really put her on. It's hard for me to rate her on this because I don't have any experience to go off like the other ones. So we're going to move her down to Fugly. And Jamie Lee Curtis is the ugly out of all of them. Let's just go. Now, who is the goddess? Who is the goddess? Well, it's not going to be any out of the fugly group. We know that. The cute list can't be that because they didn't get hot. Hot hmm, has to be somebody from the smoking list. And you know who I'm going to pick. I'm going to have to go with Alyssa Milano. I know she's crazy now. She's weird. She's always, oh, my opinion and everything. She gets on your nerves. Sometimes you're like, I agree with her. Sometimes you're like, I don't agree with her. Sometimes you're like, she's back crazy. But she's still Alyssa Milano. And I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up and we're the same age. I think she was born in December. That's how much I know about her. I was born in September. Uh, so to me, she was always the goddess of the 80s to me. You know, uh, like I said, there was a lot of, like, I don't know. I just loved Alyssa Milano growing up, so I just have to put her at godness level. Now, I'm not saying she's the hottest. Cause dang, that Catherine Brock, wasn't she? But when you watch Weird Science, didn't she just... <sighs> she made a lot of us men. But I think that's it right there. I know some of you are going to disagree with me on the goddess section, and I do. I could change that. It's part of the people I forgot off this list. But there we go. Alyssa Milano, you're still my goddess uh, today. So... Let me know if you like this. May I do one of the hottest men of the 80s? Could be a lot of fun there. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Tell me in the comments below who I messed up on. Go ahead and tell me Jamie Lou Curtis should be in the smoking category. If you say so. She looks like a tree. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. Slime up turning out my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>